welcome to Bottoms Down, Chair Yoga for Everyone, the Slow and Short Series. I'm Carol. I'm so glad you joined us today. In this series, we'll move our bodies a little more slowly and the classes will last less than 30 minutes. If you haven't already, please click the subscribe button. Don't forget it's free and we'd love to hear from you. So leave a comment. In today's practice, we'll explore poses for a deeper stretch. You'll only need your chair for today's class and let's get started. So we're going to move forward in our chair and take a moment to ground our feet to the floor. Same idea with your sits bone. So I just want to make sure that you're feeling solidly on the chair and that your feet are firmly planted on the, on the floor. So we're going to think about our heart center. Let's connect to that heart center. Let's close the eyes and just begin to breathe. So we're connecting to our breath, feeling that inhalation and exhalation. Let's do that again. Inhale and exhale. One more time. Inhale and exhale. Bring your hands to your heart and set your intentions for today's practice. Let's bring our hands back down to our thighs and open our eyes. We're just going to take our shoulders and we're going to shrug them up into our ears. And then we're going to let them fall. Let's do that again. Shrug those shoulders up into the ears. And let them fall. One more time. Feels good, doesn't it? And just let it fall. Good. So we're going to do some stretches for our neck. We're going to let that right ear fall towards the right shoulder. So this is just your natural range of motion. Just feeling how that stretch feels without doing anything else. Now, if you want, we're going to take our right hand and you're just going to lay it on your head. You're not going to pull. You're not going to tug. You're just laying the head on the uh, hand on the head to give the neck a little more stretch. Now we're going to take the other hand and we're going to extend it out towards the wall beside us. Flex the wrist, push through your palm. One more breath. Let's bring that left hand down first. Take the hand off of the head and lift that head up. Oh boy, man, how does that feel? <laughs> Pretty good stretch. Okay. We're going to go to the other side. So let's let that left ear fall towards the left shoulder. Now we're going to hold this first just for a couple of breaths. We call this your natural range of motion. Now take your left hand, lay it on the head. Don't pull, don't tug. Opposite arm extends, flex the wrist, push through the palm, and feel the stretch in the neck. Bring the right hand down first, 
Take the left hand off of the head and lift your head up. Oh my goodness, how does that feel? Let's do another shoulder shrug just for the fun of it. Shrug and drop. Let's do that again. Shrug and drop. Ah, good. So our next pose is a series of two poses. We'll start with cow and then we'll move into cat. So for our cow pose, we're going to take our hands and open up through the chest, thumbs to the back of the room. So I'm opening through the chest, I'm lifting up through my heart. Maybe you look up just a little bit. Then we're going to round down into cat pose. So take your hands, we're rounding down, place your hands on your thighs, tuck your chin, and look down at your lap. Let's do that again. Lifting up into cow pose, thumbs to the back of the room, and round down into cat pose. Hands on thighs, tucking the chin, looking down at your lap. One more time, last time. Lifting up into cow pose and rounding down into cat pose. Let's come back up to seated position and grab a sip of water. We're going to move into a warrior two pose. Take your right knee and open it. So the leg angle is 90 degrees. You have one knee facing me and you have one knee facing the side wall. Do you feel the inner thigh stretching already? I do. We're going to add our warrior two arms. So all we're doing is bringing those arms up and out, trying to make our arms parallel to the floor. So just think about not having one higher or lower than the other, trying to make those arms parallel to the floor. Now I want you to squeeze the muscles against the bones in your arms. So really feel like you're squeezing. It's a very powerful movement. Now you're going to bend your right elbow, bring your palm to the ceiling, and place the forearm on the leg. The hand that's in the air, let's bring that to your waist. Lift up through your heart. And if you want to extend your arm again, beautiful side angle pose. One more breath here. Come back up to your warrior two. Let's look over our front fingers. Flip that palm up to the ceiling and reverse our warrior up, 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 and back. So if it feels okay for you to look up, Look up if you want to look out. If that feels better on your neck, that's fine. Let's come back to our warrior two. 
Squeeze the muscles against the bones in the arms and bring those hands down and face forward. Okay, so we will do that again, that on the other side, and then we'll do it one more time with a, on another add-on, okay? So let's start by bringing that knee open. So again, that 90 degree angle, the knees are not folding in. Keep those knees open. Come up to those warrior two arms. Squeeze the muscles against the bones in the arms. Really activate that upper body. Keep those shoulders down. Keep those arms parallel. Okay, I'm going to flip my front palm up, bend that elbow, and place that arm on my leg. There's side angle. Let's take the hand that's in the air, bring it to your waist, lift up through your heart, and then extend that arm again if you want. You can stay here. Feeling the stretch? Back to warrior two. Flip the front palm up and back. Grab the chair. Up we go. Fingertips are up. Then they come back just a little bit, looking up if that's okay on your neck or looking out if that feels better. Feel that deeper stretch in the side waist. Back we go to that warrior two. Squeeze and release. Let's bring that knee forward. And so the only thing we're going to add is when, when we're in our side angle, we're going to bring our arm across and you'll feel even deeper stretch into that side waist. And we might let this wrist fall down by our ankle. We'll see how it feels. Okay, so let's start with our right knee opening. So we have that 90 degrees, one knee facing me, one knee facing the wall. Coming up into that warrior two pose. Let's move to the side angle pose. We've done this one, we know it. Now the hand that's in the air, we're gonna bring it over. So I call this bicep by ear. Do you see how my bicep muscle of my arm is right by my ear? Do you feel that stretch? I do. Let's bring that arm back out. Now, if you want one more thing, this wrist is going to come down by that ankle. Only if it feels okay. Quite a stretch in the side waist, right? Okay, now listen. You're going to push through your front leg and come right back into a warrior two. Let's reverse our warrior. Flip your palm up. And back we go. Let's come back to that warrior two. Squeeze the muscles against the bones in the arms. Bring the hands down. And let's bring that leg forward. Take a little break. Ha! We gotta do the other side though, don't we? So here we go. Let's open it up. Come into your warrior two. We know this one. Let's flip our palm up and back. Let's go to that reverse warrior. Oh yeah, that feels good. Sideways stretching. Back to that warrior two. Side angle pose. So the arm is flipping the palm up to the ceiling and that arm rests on that leg. 
Now we're going to bring this arm, uh, the top arm across. I call it bicep by ear. Do you feel that? Quite a stretch on that side waist. Let's bring that arm back up. And if you want to try wrist by ankle, it's pretty significant. Don't let your heart sink. Keep that heart lifted. Press up into that warrior two. Let's reverse it one more time. Back to warrior two. Squeeze those muscles against the arms and release. Go ahead and face forward. Very, very good. And let's grab a sip of water. We're going to move forward in our chair and then take a little, just a heel and a toe of those feet, just a little bit wider than hip distance. So we're going to move into a seated forward fold by simply beginning to hinge at the hips. Let's put our, our arms, palms facing up on the legs here for some support. Now just begin to let the upper body fall forward, but we're not going to tuck our chin. We're just going to keep our back flat and feel the back stretch. So the lower back is getting the majority of the stretch here. I feel a little bit into the upper back, but keeping the back flat will keep most of the stretch into the lower back and that's what I want you to feel for this one. We have one more breath. Okay, we're just going to roll up slowly here. Take a moment. We're going to do that again. Okay, so just take a moment here. So we're going to begin to let that heart fall forward. Remember, you're going to put your arms on those legs, palms facing up for a little support. So I'm lifting nice and long through my spine. I still want a long spine, and I'm going to let my heart begin to fall forward. So really extending long through the spine as I let my heart fall forward, feeling the stretch in the back. One more breath here, and let's go ahead and roll it up slowly. Good. We're going to heel toe our feet back in to where they're hip distance apart. Take your right hand and place it on the outside of that opposite knee. Your other hand is going to go on the seat of the chair I want you to bring that elbow back, turn, and look over that shoulder. Okay, let's release that. And then we're going to go the other direction. This hand is going to go on the outside of that knee, opposite hand on the chair. Bring the shoulder back turn and look over that shoulder. One more breath and face forward. Okay, so you can keep doing that again. If you want a little bit more, I'm going to take my right leg and I'm going to cross it over my left. Now I'm going to take my left hand and I'm going to bring it on the outside of that knee. Opposite hand is going to come to the chair behind me. Lengthen through the spine. Now if you want, you can pull a little bit, press into that leg as you twist. Pull this shoulder back, press, and you might get a little deeper twist. 
a little deeper stretch into the side waist. One more breath and face forward and let's do the other side. So I'm going to bring that leg down and cross the other leg on top. Opposite arm comes to that knee, uh, the other hand back by the chair, lift, pull the shoulder back, twist, and I'm pressing against the leg a little bit just for a little more stretch. One more breath and face forward. Okay, so we're going to move into seated pigeon. You can stay here with this knee like this, or you can cross with the ankle in front of that knee. Lengthen through the spine and begin to just let the heart come forward. Super gentle. Are you feeling the stretch here in your hip and glute? I am. Let's come up. And then we're just going to flutter the butterfly wing here. So just move that knee up and down a little bit. And we're going to do that again. Lengthen nice and long through the spine and maybe you let the heart fall forward. The other thing you can do is press gently on this leg if you want. Just another way to get a little deeper stretch. One more breath. All right, let's unravel that leg. And we're gonna go to the other side. So remember, you can be here if that feels better for you, or you can bring that ankle on top of that opposite leg. Your choice. Ah, we're just hanging out here for a couple of breaths first. And then if you want a little more, extending nice and long through the spine and beginning to let the heart fall forward. So super gentle though. All right, let's come up and move that up and down just a smidge and then let's do that again don't forget to lengthen first through the spine keep a nice long spine then begin to let the heart fall forward and if you want to press gently on this leg you can you should be feeling that hip and glute pretty substantially I do one more breath okay Let's go ahead and unravel that leg. We're going to sit back in our chair. Place your hands lightly on your thighs. Flip the palms up to the ceiling. Now, if you don't want to close your eyes, just simply let your eyes fall down towards the, the, your lap. Not your head, just your eyes. Or close your eyes. Take a deep breath in and a full breath out. Choose mindfully. This moment is more than enough. How much of it can you see and feel and experience? Are you fully here, making the most of your countless opportunities? Or are you obsessing about something that's already over or has not yet even happened? Yes, the same old automatic habits and thought patterns will get you through the day, but you and your experience of life deserve so much more. Take a moment, take a breath, take a break from your usual routines and expectations. Allow your awareness to absorb the wonder of existence that's all around you. Feel the energy of your life as it dances forward through time and space. Gain a new and startling and magnificent view of the possibilities here right now. Break through the mindless noise. 
and allow yourself to see all the goodness and beauty to which you are constantly connected. As you step forward, choose mindfully, choose intentionally, choose accordingly. Take a deep breath in and a full breath out. A deep breath in. And on this exhalation, open your eyes. Drop your right ear towards your right shoulder. Reach up with your right hand. Give the head a gentle tug pressing the other hand down towards the floor. Release it. Drop your chin towards your chest. Reach up with your hands. Give the head a gentle tug. Release it. Drop your left ear towards your left shoulder. Reach up with the left hand. Give the head a gentle tug as you press that opposite hand down towards the floor. Release it. Look up just slightly. Open your mouth if you want to stretch your jaw. Bring your hands to your heart. Honoring one another, we say Namaste. Thank you so much for joining today. If you haven't already, click on that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Leave me a comment and I will see you next time.